Hi guys, I've got some DIY home decor tutorials for you today. Bye bye Valentine's Day. Although I don't celebrate Valentine's Day, simply because I don't believe you should tell your loved ones once a year that you love them. You should really be doing that every day. But while I was out shopping, I saw these amazing window displays. I absolutely had to make something using this coaster and placemat that I found in the pound store. For this part of the tutorial, you will need one cushion, a placemat and some fabric glue. Start by taking out the pillow from the cushion. I'll place some newspapers inside the cushion cover. This is just in case the glue seeps into the fabric and attaches both fabrics together. Now apply the glue all over the placemat. Make sure you do this on a flat surface. Now stick the placemat onto the cushion cover. Make sure it's centered and firmly pressed down. Don't forget to read the instruction on your fabric glue as they will vary. Also recommend that you let this dry for 24 hours before putting the cushion back in. And with the coaster, I have used it to decorate this jar. For this part of the tutorial, you will need a hot glue gun, a bird ornament, a candle jar and the coaster. Start by applying the hot glue onto the coaster. Make sure to apply the glue all over the back and work really fast as this stuff dries really, really quick. Now just press it on gently onto the front of the jar and try and centre it at the same time. Now taking the bottom of the bird ornament, apply a thick layer of hot glue. Now place the bird ornament on the lid of the candle jar. Make sure that this is in the centre and press down. Now you're ready to fill your jar with goodies. You will need a heart shape ornament. If you do not have something like this, you can always use a pendant from an old necklace. Also need some string and some ribbon. We'll also be using this candle jar. Now taking the ribbon, I'm gonna put it through the hole of the ornament. If you don't have a hole in your ornament, don't worry, you can just glue the string onto the back. Now tie a knot on the string. Just make sure that the ornament is hanging from the string. You don't want to tie the ornament too tightly around the neck of the jar. Now tie the string around the jar, make sure you do a double knot and cut off any excess.
Now taking the ribbon, just wrap it around the jar and tie a knot. Make sure you double knot and don't forget to cut off the excess. I'm going to be using some white sand to fill half the jar. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you decide to do my tutorials, I would love to see, so show me on Instagram and Twitter. And I shall see you next week, bye bye.